little pump going on in the chest area. Pretty excited about it. You know what I'm saying? I can actually see something happening. And I know it's just a pump. But that's more than I've seen in about a month and a half. So I'm extremely happy with that for the time being. So what I ended up doing was rather than just do this all day, I think I'm going to do two a days because I have the ability to do that. Um, I'll do my dumbbells and push-ups and stuff like that uh, in the morning times. And then I'll do another set of the same exact thing at nighttime. Hit it twice, hit it right. Maybe I'll catch a little walk or something halfway in between. But feeling good. I like it. It felt good. Uh, so it was a super set of five different movements. So it was like regular incline press. Keep in mind, these are like 20 pounds each arm. So it's not that much, but high reps push it there. So I did uh, ended up going through doing three sets of 12 on each one. It's pretty light. You know, it's my first time doing it. I want to eventually build up to where I can do, you know, six sets of 12 with this. But I'm pretty fatigued now and my body's not used to doing high reps rather than heavy weight, low reps. So trying to convert it over and stuff. So uh, first was regular uh, incline, pr incline presses and then something that I, I call gorilla presses, which is just straight to pocket, straight up top, touch at the top, squeeze. Then you have a uh, like a complete squeeze press where I touch both dumbbells together, lower it to my chest, try not to use as much tricep to extend out and then focus on my chest squeezing down when I get to the top like squeezing down whenever I extend my arms out that's where stuff really started to burn and then I uh ended the whole thing with inclined flies and then uh just because I ended up doing dumbbell skull crushers because I kind of like the movement so that was my five uh sets uh five sets of 12 with the five different movements and I'm gonna hit this again I might involve the actual total gym and uh I, had, I came up with this idea that I stole from somebody else. I took an old uh, mop handle. And rather than throw it away, I just unscrewed it. And now I can take it and put it in my uh, hand grips. And now I have a bench press type thing. I may have done this on the last video, but I can't remember. Uh, I thought about it like we weren't using the mop anymore. And I was like, hey, I can use that and just put my handles in there. And then boom, instant bench press. So I'll be hitting that uh, probably tonight and uh, incorporating this in my lift. So I have three different movements. So incline, regular, and decline, all with this handle grip. And then I can take this off and do the exact same thing with more of a uh, fly motion with the handles. So that's going to be pretty good tonight whenever I go back and try to do this whole thing and finish it up. So thank you all for watching. Uh, try to keep these men these uh, videos to under six minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here and uh i'll see y'all in the next video peace